Hello everyone, this is DHC0 and today I'm going to show you how to make a scripted sequence in Hammer Editor. Right. So after you load up your Hammer Editor, um, I'm just going to quickly delete all of this. Alright, so here I like your basic map. Nothing special about it. Alright, so what we're going to start off with is we're going to make an NPC. Um, an MPC, uh, I'm going to make a Metro Cop. Alright, um, first what you're going to do, you're going to name him. I'm going to name him Cop. Um, I'm gonna, that's pretty much all there is to it. He's not going to have a weapon. Yeah. Alright, <coughs> what we're going to do with this script to sequence, we're going to make him uh basically knock on a door and this is going to be the animation that he's going to be doing as you can see right there all right so remember the name of the animation you want to do it's a door knock i'm going to just put him back to idle um you're going to go to flags you're going to tick wait for script okay now we're just going to pull him near to the door about here and just rotate him there you go there we go alright now we're gonna make another thing and this is going to be uh, an AI relationship I'm gonna do that mostly because um, you know we don't want him to attack us while, while testing this out I'm just gonna name it Really, relationship. Okay, this is quite simple to do. You know, for subject, you type in uh, you type in cop, the NPC. The target is going to be player. Um, this is going to be to neutral. So if we attack him, he attacks us. And start active. Yes. Okay, so that's done with that. Um, Um, now, now that you made that, um, it's just real simple. We're gonna make a, we're gonna make another, and we're gonna name this sequence, uh, scripted sequence. Actually, sorry. All right, <coughs> uh, we're gonna name it. We're gonna name it one sequence one. Seems like an appropriate name. Okay. Uh, target NPC will be course cop uh, pre animation is the animate pre action idle animation is what he does while, while he's idling while he waits before you trigger the script uh, entry animation is the animation he does before he does the main animation uh, action animation is of course the main animation that he's going to be doing and post action idle animation is what he does after he finished the after he finishes the animation uh, of course you have loop animation, we're going to set that to yes because he's going to be knocking on the door repeatedly. Uh, you can have move to position, which you can set to walk, run, depending on what NPC it is. Next script is of course for the next script you want him to do after that script is finished. And um, see, um, that's pretty much it. Not really. It's pretty. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot the most important thing. On the action animation, which is the main animation. You can add the other ones like, uh, if you want to, but for this one, I'm going to type in <coughs> um, a door knock, which is the name of the animation we saw earlier. And now we're just going to put that um, to here, about here. <coughs> and um, now this is where it gets, here's where we start doing the real work. Um, in order to trigger the scene, we need a trigger, right? So we're going to go to your browse and on the filter, type in tools. Um, then click the trigger uh, texture. Then we're going to make a box. Um, the box can, of course, be any dimensions. It doesn't really matter. Um, so basically what this does, actually, this means when the player walks into this, he will trigger the scene and in order to do that we select this actually 
control T and make it a trigger underscore once you can make a multiple I really don't know what that does but trigger once worked for me um, <coughs> now go to outputs and you're gonna click add uh, my output name should be on trigger that means when he the player enters the box uh, targets the sequence not the the NPC but the sequence and it will begin the sequence after delayment of one second let's say okay and what this basically what we just did is we made it so when the player walks into this box he the NPC will move to the sequence place the sequence area and he will begin to do this, the scene which is knocking on the door <coughs> and now that we have all that set up I'm gonna pause this and turn on turn up in fraps okay let's just uh, quickly turn this off alright so here we go we entered the box um, and after about one second he moved like you saw he moved to position and he starts knocking on the door. Now we set uh, repeated uh, looping on, so he's going to keep knocking. And um, of course, uh, you can actually, of course, you can make it so he does it only once. Um, you can basically do lots of things with it, play around with the options and so. But um, yeah, so that's like the main thing about this. And bye bye.